Well, the Metro is running low on ammo. It's getting harder and harder to find certain kinds of bullets. KCTV 5 Stephen Mayer talks with local gun shops and is live now in KCK. Stephen? Well, Brad, no one's exactly sure what's causing that spike seen at gun stores like this one all across the area. One thing everyone is sure about, prices are way up and supply is way down. 1911s are all single action, too. Business is brisk at UT Arms and KCK. Owner Chris Code opened up shop a year and a half ago. He knew running his own business would be tough, but never expected his biggest challenge would be trying to track down enough ammo to keep his shelves stocked. We're struggling to, to get that ammo. You know, we're doing limits on, on what individuals can buy, uh, just like your Walmarts are doing, your Cabela's, um, Dick's. Everybody is, is doing a rationing of, of that ammo right now. Code says 9 millimeter. 40 caliber and 22 long rifle ammo is especially hard to find right now. He says that's been the trend for the past several months, but it's gotten even worse over the past few weeks. He's not sure what's causing it, but says more and more people are buying guns and getting into shooting, and that could be driving up demand. Further south at OMB Guns in Olathe, the staff here is turning to technology to fire back its soaring ammo prices. They've installed this virtual firing range, complete with real guns retrofitted to run on compressed air. People that aren't, aren't able to come in, spend all that money on ammo and, you know, shoot as much as they'd really like to, they can still have enjoy a fun time. Store manager Andy Bauer has been in the business for years and says he's never seen ammo shortages this bad. You can't um, hit a manufacturer that produces ammo with that big of an order and not expect to be delayed down the chain. He points to massive ammo purchases by the Department of Homeland Security, including an order of 360,000 40 caliber bullets just last week as a major driving force behind the spike. As to when the levels will even back out, he says it's all simple economics. Supply and demand. Um, they're trying to meet that demand and, you know, they can only work so many hours a day like anybody else. So. And a lot of avid shooters will use reloading kits to reuse spent ammunition. I'm told even those supplies are running low right now. Reporting live in KCK, Stephen Mayer, KCTV 5 News.